congratulations on your 100th career win last week. We never got a chance to speak to you on the air to formally congratulate you on that milestone and all the hard work that led to this point. So, you know, first of all, your thoughts on, on that milestone? I didn't even know it was my 100th. You didn't know? Uh, no you had clue. no idea? It's not a clue. Nobody had a graphic prepared in advance that they shared with you? I mean, apparently, but they just didn't let me know about it, so. Well, congratulations on that. Listen, your team today came out and, and showed that they could play with the best teams in the country. That first set could have gone either way. Let's talk about it at first. 31-29, back and forth. You guys had the lead, but Long Beach was able to claw away. Yeah, I think they just made, I don't even remember what the last play was, but a block touch to a real point and on defense where they can transition and take a swing. I mean, I think the biggest part of the first set is us uh, kind of having too many hitting errors in the middle of the set and giving up the lead that we ended up having. Uh, it made it tough, but I'm glad we battled at the end of the set and made it close. I think we came from behind a little bit, right? We were down right, a couple points. Right, you were points. able to uh, take away seven set points and yeah. ultimately before you succumb there, but that second set is really where, all right, you put the beach on notice that they're going to have to work for this win today. What did you see in the second set that you were pleased with? I think it was, oh, hold on, I was pleased with a lot. I was pleased overall with our blocking defense today. I think we did a nice job of touching the ball a lot on our block, not necessarily getting stuffed blocks, but uh, giving our defense an opportunity to pick up a bunch of balls. I think it was a pretty similar thing to the first set. I think we managed the middle of the set better, less errors. Um, they helped us with a couple service, uh, service errors, but um, we were able to side out through that middle of the set and, and keep our lead the whole way. Now, ultimately, throughout the year, you're not going to see too many teams, maybe Grand Canyon later, that are able to block at the level that Long Beach did today. I talked about it as you were sitting down, 17 and a half blocks today. Really, it was the middles who took charge. Bushkov was amazing today with 11 blocks, but they even got uh, nine from the right side, Vargas. A lot of guys got involved. That triple, in particular, was difficult to deal with today. What can you take from this match as you continue to play some nationally ranked teams, but also, obviously, EIBA is loaded this year? Yeah, I think we have to try to get the middle middles involved, even if we're not on a perfect pass. Or be able to shovel a ball. We can do it every now and again, but it's got to be some part of our repertoire where we can keep um, blockers at bay and make sure that we can give some space to our pins uh, later in sets. And then finally, you know, we, first trip here to Newark for Long Beach. And the crowd came out. This place, certainly I had talked about previously on the air this year, if there was a date you wanted to circle, this was it. Penn State's not coming to town this year, so this is certainly that big opponent. They came out, the energy was there, particularly in the second set. And I'm sure you guys on the sideline felt that. Let's talk about what a match like this, having a, a national power of commies, what it means for the sport and then for the fans to come out and be part of this experience. Yeah, I mean, it shows what we want this to be. I mean, this this is what we want to have every night, I think. We want to compete against the best. We want to bring them here. We want our fans to come and enjoy that experience because volley men's volleyball is a fast, uh, dynamic, exciting sport to watch. So the, mo the more we can do that for them, the more they keep coming and support us, the better we're going to keep getting. Hopefully they keep coming out. That was a fun one to call. Danny Goncalves, he's the head coach of the NJIT Highlanders. He's continuing to build towards his next 100 wins. And that will start next week when they head out to Pennsylvania for a couple of matches in Loretta, I believe, the yep. site of those. So that will do it here today. Long Beach State, you see the scores. They certainly were tested by NJIT before pulling it out in four sets. They improved the 5-0 and oh on the year, the number two ranked team in the country, NJIT. Well, they suffered just their first home court defeat of the season as they fall in four sets. Special thanks today to Stephanie Polari and the NJIT Athletic Communications team, Lindy Zamora and the Long Beach State Communications staff for helping us get ready for this one. This has been a production of ESPN All Matches. You can see on the ESPN family of apps. For everyone, I'm Ira Thor. Good night from Newark.